Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Back in the day when Bo and Woody were ruling and Archie Griffin and Ricky the Peach Leach were the stars, the Big Ten was about three yards and a cloud of dust. Not anymore. You can see anything spread option, five wide, great diversity in the offenses in the Big Ten. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. exciting game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Penn State will be kicking off and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Gathered in at the 6. He's out to the 30. Tackle made the 39-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Tries to buy some time. Tackle at about the 33 yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled him. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at around the 48 yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. run and he's brought down Lewis gets about four yards on the draw play that makes it second and six let's go easy, easy, easy. Let's go. fires it out and he's tackled at about the 35 I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker it was just a better call by the offense and that's why it's a first down He's into the open field. He's tackled at the 27. That makes it second and two. And this play is number eight on the drive. Roger, Roger. Yeah, hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Let's Mike right here. Scrambling around. Dives, and he's down. Well, everyone was covered, so he took it himself for the first down. This guy is fearless. He'll put his head down and take a hit, too. He doesn't care. He scrambled. He's wrapped up for the sack. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. And 
and this is the 10th play of the drive. The Terrapins running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. Makes the catch, and look out. He's taken down at the 18-yard line. complete he's got space to work and down he goes around the 12 yard line Gibson gains six yards with a short completion and it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down nice run up the middle the PAT. So a 13 play, 77 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7 nothing. Looking for the corner. And they push him out at the 50 yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. That makes it second and six. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the tight end, and they make the stop around the 32-yard line. Makes it to the 21. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 21. and brought down. That's a loss of five yards. That will bring up second and 15. From the 26 yard line. Second down. Let's go, let's go. Red two, red three. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he hits him hard at the 18. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it 37. out of bounds at the 14 yard line they'll call on the field goal unit here kicks up and it's good State lines up for the kickoff. Robinson's return. 
He'll return it from the four-yard line. Across the 30. And he's taken down at midfield. And a great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. 7-3, Terrapin. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Maryland is up by four. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 45. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. to about the 34-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Field for a loss. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. Third down and 12. Ball on the 20. Here we go. Jack, Jack. Regular, regular, regular. The 10. And he hauls it in. Tackle made at about the nine yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. Maryland holds a four point lead. Here we go. Red 85. Touchdown, Turks. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Wilson takes it from the six. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll drop in for a loss. They lose three yards there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That brings up second and 13. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Nice run there. McCall gained seven yards on that play. Has time. He zips it out to the left. Oh, 
almost intercepted. So that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the second half. The Terrapins had one of their key players go down earlier. It looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Tackle at the 41. Maryland's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. He's scrambling. Tackle right around midfield. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Setting up blockers, a running back's got it on the screen, and he's taken down around the 33-yard line. Pass right, running back's got it, and he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third and five. Ball on the 28. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. That makes it fourth and four. field in big chunks like that you've got the defense right where you want them. the Terrapins use their second time out it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here throws to the halfback touchdown And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. At the 30. He's taken down at the 36. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He's under pressure. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First and 10. Ball on the 42. Three, 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 three. 
Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. He's taken down at the 29. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From the 29-yard line, first down. Slings it. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. We played a half of football. Maryland leads 21-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin and they better value that thing because yeah you give it away and bad things happen david and i will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio the best seat in the house belongs to brad nessler and kirk herb Street. and we welcome you back to the action here just about set for the second half Wilson fields it at the 13, heading for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 31. The Terrapins continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's under pressure. Fires out quick. It's picked off. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. Got an opening. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. Down he goes around the eight yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That'll make it your new Quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds at the three yard line. So it's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Johnson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Down he goes at the 28. 
The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 30. He lets it fly. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. That's a first down as they hooked up on the deep round. And the defender just got outrun and outplayed by the receiver. He wanted it more, and that allowed him to make a heck of a play. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Go. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Strike to his receiver, no good. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. Third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. As the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. It's fielded at the two. Tackle made at the 33 yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Here we go. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 24. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. Play fake and looking to run. And he's tackled in the open field. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. In second and ten. Ball on their own 26. Dorsey with the play fake. Lost the ball. Fumble. And the offense will recover. Zips it to the tight end. 
They'll bring him down at about the 25 yard line. That'll make it second to seven. Going right to his tailback. And they push him out right around the 18-yard line. Gain of seven yards. Third down. Tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Mike, Mike 40, Mike 40. Shift, shift. Tackle made at the 10. Fights forward to about the seven. That'll make it second to seven. Scrambling around. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. A 10 play, 84 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Maryland ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the nine. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 41 yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. Only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Fires it out. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First down. From the 42 yard line. First down. Steps up in the pocket. Aaron and out long. Doesn't get there. and this one's all but over. The Terrapins are up big. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Wants to go long and does. It's intercepted. Personal foul. Clipping. Offense. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11. Maryland in control. He's on the run, and they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 10-yard line. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. 
Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 17. around the 14-yard line. Three-yard loss there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Sisk is back deep to return the punt. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. It's that second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Let's bring it. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. Red two. Blue 20. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's knocked out of bounds at the nine. That's good for the 28 yards. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's tackled right away. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and goal. Play. He's going to lose yardage. If you don't get the blocking on the outside, the toss play is going to fail 99% of the time. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. Was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He makes the PAT. They just refused to quit. Yeah, but I think the score is going to make this one look a lot closer than it really was. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. That makes it first and ten. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Just under two to go in the game. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one.
Pass complete and taken down immediately. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. And now things have gotten a little more interesting. Brad, this one's not over yet. Watch out now because the momentum has completely shifted. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he's immediately tackled. The Nittany Lions will use their first time out of the half. From the 34-yard line, first down. We have less than a minute to go. This one's going deep to the end zone. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he hits the PAT. So a short three-play, 49-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 31-28. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. He's at the 30. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Penn State will take their last time out. Takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Maryland is up by three. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. This one's in the books. The Terrapins take this one, 34-28.
That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.